Hey guys, thanks for joining us. Chris from Hockey Tutorial here and we're filming today at Peterborough Ice Rink. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new series of videos that we're introducing called the Coaching Series. For these special series of videos, we thought that we'd bring on board a pro coach, Lee Elias, who's going to be helping us through the steps today. The first one that we're going to be taking a look at is gap control. On any given play in hockey, there's usually five right choices to make and five wrong choices to make. In order to be an effective hockey player, your job is to pick one of the right plays. In this series of videos, we hope to give you the tools necessary to pick the right play. Understanding how to read the gap between you and a defensive player can be the beginning of a scoring opportunity or a turnover. When entering an offensive situation, there are two types of gaps, a long gap or a short gap. A long gap is when the defensive player is two stick lengths away or more. A short gap is when the defensive player is one stick length away. Here are some options depending on which gap you're facing. If you're facing a long gap, the best option is to cut in towards center ice and head right to the net for a shot. Because the defender is two stick lengths away, it's going to be virtually impossible for him to get in front of you in the net to defend the play. Another option when doing long gap is to go wide, but this is not the optimal play as the D has the angle on you towards the net. When facing a short gap situation, your scoring options are limited, but you do have a few options to create plays. The first option is to go towards the board and skate the puck deep into the zone, therefore creating an opportunity for other incoming players. The second option is to simply just dump the puck. A third option is to take a dead stop and let the defender continue towards the net, giving you more space. A fourth option, which is also great, is a Gretzky turn. As a defenseman, long gap and short gap also mean something to you. When playing a defensive role on a player coming into the zone, the most important thing to do is to take away any shooting or passing lanes that the player may have. In addition, defensive players should never turn away from the net when trying to defend. Always be going towards the net and to take that ice away from the oncoming player. Skating away from the net can give the offensive player an opportunity to go in and shoot. Another reoccurring theme for defensemen is to not watch the puck, but watch the man coming in from shoulders down to the waist. Looking at the puck will not give you the correct angle to defend the player to the net. Having a good understanding of gap control when entering the zone can be the difference between you getting a scoring chance and the defender taking the puck from you. Therefore, get your head up when coming over the blue line and recognize whether you're facing a long gap or a short gap. This will set you up for other situations such as odd man rushes or coming in on a goalie. As always guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Links will be down below. And of course, remember to hit that subscribe button so you can keep up to date. Ah, subscribe today! <laughs> Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all of our latest content. You see what I have to work with? Take care till next time.